Hi, Johnny. Uh, I just bought uh, this for $99 from Best Buy and it came uh, with a it's called a RK uh, counter counter cat and this is the dig and dug but my came with where the ball is rolling around everywhere uh, the, the ball here is look like it's smashed in and so hopefully there's no damage on it okay last time I returned mine because there was damage to it in some area so I decided to go ahead and return it and so the dig and duck came with dig and duck one and two so as you can see come with dig and duck two and the centipede come with the centipede and missile commander so I got that one too I like the design on the on this two cap and I like Padman and Galaga but they they those two are so out but this one is still on the Best Buy but this one and the Galaga they they sold out so but it's okay anyway I'm gonna buy this and mod, mod it with the virtual game not virtual but virtual game set where because this is all vertical screen the screen is pretty small it's about this 8 inches but everything else is big so we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and take everything out so uh, let's go ahead and do that the other one is sitting over there centipede and that one have a small trackball we're gonna compare the size I think they they are a little bit smaller than the normal size I think I got everything everywhere right now uh, look like it's a little bit smaller I'm not sure but we're gonna go ahead and get this one hooked up and so we could put a raspberry pi in it uh, I'm not crazy about the the marquee not the marquee but the the banner it doesn't really have a picture it just have blue color around it so I probably will change that panel to something else so let's go ahead and take it apart since you guys already seen how it is taken apart I'm not going to I'm going to skip that and then take it out and put it on the side and test it and compare it and make sure everything is good okay Okay, I'm taking the both screen out because you can't really see anything with this screen on it. So they pretty much screw the screw right on top of the plastic. So when you take it out, you kind of like the plastic still stuck on the the screw right there. Uh, it's just a plastic foil, it's not even sticky, but we got it on all the corner, so it's kind of because if you want to get the, the whole plastic out, the let it take the screw out. To get the thing out okay all right okay so let's go ahead turn this thing out this one is in a uh, medium value It looks like the this one I bought is a lot better condition than last time. And the both have white bottom, so it's prettier. The speaker on this one is in the middle, I guess because of the trackball. And this one is on this side. 
and I believe the trackball is a lot smaller compared from the, the old one from the original so let's check it out this is the original trackball It look almost the same size. The button is the same size. But let's measure. Because I'm always curious is what what exactly the trackball size is. is you know. Is it the same size as the, the big one? So it's hard to measure this. But I'm gonna estimate it like uh like a 2.2 2.2 uh, on the limp and this one uh, I think it's the same well one way to figure it out is take this and can put it on top right on top of it but I think it's the same exact size I don't think it's anything different. So it's a, it's the same button layout. I mean, same button and everything. Uh, it just uh, instead of speaker on the top, the speaker is at the bottom. But same three button here and uh, two button here. One player, second player. One player, second player. And then you have an off and on button, and then a trackball. I wonder if you have space for uh, a spinner. So uh, I'm gonna probably put a, a star and select over here, and have this as a button. One, two, three, four, four button. And I'm gonna try to see if I could put a. A joystick here. I seen the one guy. He put a joystick here, and then, uh, but then this button is not necessary. So if you put a joystick here, then you should have one, two, three, four. So we don't have space for a spinner. I did bought one spinner uh, over here on the desk over here. I bought a spinner and uh, two video cards that support uh, this uh, eight inch screen. Because I was thinking maybe I'll replace it with a 10 inch screen, but then I was saying, well, what am I gonna do with those screen? You know, it would be waste if I throw it away. So so I decided to go ahead and buy the video card. It's, it's about $20. I bought two of them, so I got a little bit discount, like a couple cents. All right, let's check the view, viewing angle on both of them, okay? This one somehow is not as well, they're both about the same. I think maybe because the light is shining on it. So let me take this down and then... Okay, I went and turned off the light so the reflection won't be... But look like that screen is not that crystal clear. It looks like it's fading. <laughs> And uh, so, looking at the size, the screen on both of them seem to be good. The top view seem to be fine. Viewing angle on this one as well. Okay. And let's look at the other size. Let's go up here. So the viewing angle on this side is fine. And same with the centipede. So. The direction that we're supposed to look at on the those three angles, they are good. Now let's look at it from the down angle. Normally won't nobody will play it looking down, but let's uh, sorry I get get down here. So it's a pretty good uh, screen. I mean it's not a, a true IPS screen, but it seemed like. It's a pretty good screen. You know, all the angle is good. You know, 
It just the color is kind of faded, the way I think. I mean, the way you look at it. Oh, is there a mark over here? Oh, there's a plastic scratch on it. You could feel you could feel the scratch. See that? The Pepsi glass is 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 pretty damaged. See that? Yeah, that Pepsi glass is messed up. I just noticed it when I was recording it. I wonder if this side have any scratches on it. But yeah, this side is okay. But yeah, this one here uh, is pretty bad. On top of the screen. You got a dig and dug. Let me do a snap picture on this thing. Alright, let's do some uh, gameplay and see how it goes. So, uh, I'm gonna pretty much mob this. On this one, I'm thinking about flipping the joystick around. So, this joystick will be on this side. So, it'll be pretty much like this and just add a button. So that'll be a four button game. And then mm -hmm. I'll add a spinner on this side. So that way uh, I have four button here. And then a spinner. And then a joystick. And then a star and select. And then here I will probably just add a joystick right here. Replace those two. And then add an extra button here. So I have four button as well. And then uh, select star over here. So I will move this and put up. So if I do that, I will have to replace the, the artwork. And I will keep the board. But what I'll do is I'll cut a new a Pepsi glass. And with the new artwork, you won't see the hole inside. So I'll be drilling a hole right in the middle of this. And so the joystick will be held by the plexiglass so you can't really tell but this the metal screw will be screwed onto here so it, it will be on the wood but the hole will be kind of big but it's okay because you're gonna put that thing on it to hold it so this one I won't mo modify too much only thing I modify was I'll get a new artwork change the plexiglass and this one what I'll do is uh, create another artwork and flip the artwork in where well, this this is in this side and this is on this side. So, but uh, let's go and play the game and then uh, we will do the next video uh, how I mod the joystick and everything and then uh, I'll do that once everything is done. All right. Okay, let's play the centipede. Uh, before we do, uh, I like to measure the screen side of the screen. So let you guys see how big this is. Now, based on this, this is uh, straight down is 6.4. Okay, 6.4. Uh, Wire cost is. Uh, 4.8 4.8 diagonally based on this screen diagonally is uh, 7.9 7.9 uh, if you was to go diagonally from this this box right here this line right here you could put a, a, a 10.5 inches from here to here but if you went and put this using a full screen and not worry about this not worry about the school just use a tape you could put a uh, uh, four inches in here okay diagonally four inches so four inches screen and horizontal is about 
10.1 or 10 10.1 or 10 and then from here uh, viewing angle from there to there to the bottom is about 10 so it's 10 10 10 sideways 10 up so 10 going down and 10 going sideways okay so that's the centipede the, the trackball uh, is the same as the same size as the original so let me go ahead and open this up okay I opened the screw up I just want to see if it's the same size so as you can see it's the same size uh, trackball okay so it's the same exact size of trackball and the button wise is the same size as well okay so they pretty much use the same RK one up button and trackball so and the wood is about the wood is the same thickness as the original one it just the screen is smaller and so this thing is the same size and since I already unplug it that's how the button is how big this is so we really don't have space to put anything here you know because this uh, this plastic is here and you might have space to add a button here so if you take this out we design it you could probably probably add some more stuff to it but this one is pretty much take the whole space the, the trackball on this side all way up to all way up to here so you, you only have this much space to work with from here to here that this is the only much space you really have to put your button here in the joystick so you really don't I'm sorry you didn't even see what I'm doing I, I was putting this up like this what I'm saying this thing pretty much take up the size you don't really have space to put anything here you might could add another you know button here and here and so 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 you you only up to right here the space to work to work with you know plus this wood is blocking it so you really don't have that much space you only have this little tiny space so what I recommend is probably change this button to a, a smaller button and then you could put more button here and then maybe move the select star to the bottom here so you have the select star you could probably add you probably could add up to 10 button like I recommend I believe it's like uh, you could put four on top one two three four plus four more eight eight a button here and then you could put a star select and shut down and then two more is your button so a 9 10 uh, 11 12 12 button you could you could put 12 button here okay so uh, but what I would do is instead of instead of uh, buying a new wood I'll just take all the button now and drill get a new puxy glass Draw the hole that I want, okay. Then once the hole is drilled, and I'll, I'll base on this one. Once the, all the hole is drilled, then I'll put it on top of this, and then drill the hole again on the wood. And once it's finished, I'll put the artwork behind this to cover up the hole on this system, on this controller. Then the joystick will go directly on the plastic. And then the paper will cover the hole on this so you can't really see it and this is strong enough to to hold a joystick and plus you got the other size of the wood to hold it up you know so you just put it right on top and you could use the same wood on this one and this one you know i turned the sound off oh this one's starting <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and, and try this out It's pretty, uh, if you're playing only this kind of game, the trackball is okay because you're just rotating like this.
So let's go close up. I mean, if with this game, the trackball is good. You're not moving, you're not gonna move across the screen, you know, like real fast. Actually, this one is pretty nice. The trackball is pretty nice. It's not, I can't complain, it's not too. It might, in the future, you might wanna grease it up because it seems like after a year or so, uh, a year or two, uh, this thing get dry up and then uh, the, the rotor is not gonna be as, as smooth but I can't complain on this one straight from the box is, is good ah. that's the loudest that's the loudest you get now, I believe this will keep the high score because uh, that one did keep the high score after you pass a certain level. When you turn it off, turn it back on, it will keep the highest score. But since I never, I didn't beat the highest score because <laughs> I just died pretty quick. So not bad, not bad. For $99, you get the, the good uh, two RK uh, bar top. It's just the screen is is not as big as based on the size wise. But for the price and the screen with everything on it, it's, it's not bad, you know. Because if you think about it, those little China uh, well, they all came made in China. That's the bad thing about American uh, product is everything uh, uh, outsourced and so Anyway, this uh, This thing is not bad, you know compared to uh, With everything on it. So let's go ahead and try this one And let's see how well this one play So turn the sound all the way up Very good. Oh man. Sounds pretty loud. Alright, let's try to see if we can get out of the game. Okay, we got out of the game by holding the star button, first button, and that should take us out. Okay. Let's try the second one. Let's try this uh Second one, it's very sensitive when you move, so that's good. All right, this one sounds off. 
So it's kind of nice that they did add the tone on the, when you select it. I don't think it does that with the, the RK1 up, the full, the 3 4 scale one. I don't think it, oh, it come with this game. Metal, metal piece. This one is actually kind of nice. I thought it was going to come with the, you know, centipede and metal piece. It actually come with the mission commander. So it's like a, a different, totally different game, which is good. This one is, I'm not crazy about number two, pop two, because I played the Dig and Dug one. Uh, I don't really play Dig and Dug two. So let's see how well this one operate with the mission, because you have to travel around the game. Uh, move it closer. This one, you have to move across the screen very fast. So let's turn this value down and let's play this one. Pretty nice. Got it. Okay. So that take me out of that screen. That that's pretty nice. I like that game. So that's pretty good. Okay. All right. So let's come over here and let's try this one. I'm not left. I'm not left-handed. So overall, both games good. They added the extra feature on the, the you know the sound, where uh, I don't think they do that in the, in the true centipede, the arcade, the first generation that came out. So see same thing here. So that's good. All right. So um, overall, it's not bad. It's just that I'm a little bit complaining about the screen. If you zoom back out if you notice I don't think the screen is that bright it's, it's somehow I feel like the screen is kind of dent you know and there's no way to uh, increase the the light of the, the it's not so you know I feel like it's kind of and plus I might have a scratch up here that I'm a little bit uh, not very happy about it but overall it's good it's good arcade uh, Okay, uh, one up. Uh, they call it the counter countertop. So if you could get one for ninety nine dollar, it's it's worth it. But if it's more than that, I don't recommend it because, you know, and the power button it comes with extra foot, extra uh, feet for the bottom. So I guess you could tilt it up and put those at the bottom. I don't know if you already have it or do you have to put it on. Oh, you have one. So they just give you, they just gave you an extra one. So that way, if, in case one came out, they give you extra one for this one and extra one for that. And some instruction about the power, I guess. So that's pretty much it. And I bought this uh, adapter. 
Uh, I'm not the one who recommend this one. I'm the one who was referred by uh, people that already modded the system. So I'm going to try to see if I could get it to work. So, and then my Raspberry Pi, I already have two of this already set up. So I'm just going to put this in, in the back and uh, and change the button layout. So that's the that's the part, that's the tough toughest one is is get the controller working because the controller button is not in the right place. So I have to cut the Paxi glass first and then uh, get all the whole line up so I could uh, create the correct button here. All right. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video once I get this thing updated and upgraded I probably will put two speaker and more button here I haven't decided yet because this one is actually in the middle so I'll put the button here and button over here this one I could put all in the same place I probably will change the button to a smaller button because I do have those uh, smaller one the 20 I think they are the 20 inches instead of the 30 inches button so Let's see how it go. If I could fit all of them in, I'll probably put, you know, keep it the same button. All right.